Here we have a drone, that's some male bee, and you can see how much bigger he is. He's much fatter and longer, and you can see he's got very much bigger eyes, so that he can see the young queens when he's on a mating flight. Here's another one. So there'll be a few hundred drones in the hive, uh, as we said, up to 40,000 of his sisters the sterile female workers and only one queen if we put another queen in the queen would just go and sting her to death she won't tolerate another queen in the hive so one queen a few hundred drones and lots of sterile female workers the drones in the latter part of the year in the autumn they get thrown out because the bees know that there is no need for drones, there's no queens being mated in the late autumn and there's no point in taking drones through the winter because they do nothing except mate with the queens. So they start pulling the drones out and throwing them out at the front of the hive. The drones get jettisoned. So not a pleasant life being a boy bee the end of the year. The other interesting point about the drone, he doesn't sting, he doesn't have a sting. Only the females sting. Uh, the queen would only sting another queen and uh, all the other female weapon bees, they will sting anything that's attacking the hive, like wasps or anything, they will go to the defense. And when they sting, they leave an alarm pheromone which actually marks the enemy. So beekeepers always say the first sting is the most expensive because when you get stung once the sting tears off the bee's body and she dies but the sting keeps pumping venom in and it also puts marker pheromone onto you so you're now a target.